Whether it's litter on a beach, a toxic oil spill or smog-choked air, pollution pervades our modern lives. Much of the world's air, water and land resources have already been poisoned by harmful wastes. Air pollution, primarily from car exhausts, has been implicated in rising rates of lung disease in urban areas. Sulfur dioxide emissions from electric power plants have caused the death of thousands of trees, lakes and streams returning to the earth in the form of acid rain. Chlorofluorocarbons from aerosol propellants and refrigerants destroy the protective ozone layer in the Earth's upper atmosphere. Ozone depletion could lead to crop failure and disease epidemics from overexposure to the sun's ultraviolet rays. The major sources of water pollution are untreated sewage from cities and towns, industrial wastes and chemical fertilizers and pesticides that have entered the water system. Many solid waste products are not biodegradable and find their way into increasingly scarce and costly landfills or into massive incinerators which themselves become sources of air pollution. Sometimes environmental pollution can produce catastrophic results. In 1986, a partial meltdown inside a reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the Soviet Union was the cause of hundreds of deaths. A further 100,000 deaths are and will be attributed to the radiation exposure. Radioactive fallout rendered hundreds of square miles of agricultural land useless. Human activity places a heavy burden on our planet. Pollution is already so extensive that some scientists question the Earth's ability to continue to sustain life without immediate remedial action. Through individual effort, private industry cooperation, government legislation and international agreements, we can work together to protect our planet's limited resources.